silent! Be silent! David, son of Jesse, it is now seven years since Saul died. For seven years, the tribes of Israel have fought among themselves to decide who would be their king. They have seen their best sons die and the Philistines and Jebusites triumph as a sign of recognition that you are their king. So they have written. What say the sons of Reuben? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Simeon? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Judah? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Issachar? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Zebulon? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Benjamin? Down there is where the lands of the king of the Jebusites begin. The town of Jerusalem lies in the valley below us. It used to be the home of our father Abraham, and furthermore, it's in the land of Israel. It's as if they've been swallowed up by the earth like the worms they resemble. There's Jerusalem, the old impregnable city of Salem. Sites. There's nobody out there. I spoke with several merchants today, and they don't share your opinion. Did you see any signs of movement out there? Nothing special, sir. Just a small group of Jews moving towards the city. How many men did you count? They may have been a hundred out there, sir. They hid from us. It was hard to tell. We saw more than a hundred as well, sir. A hundred coming from the north. More than a hundred coming from the east, sire. I was on patrol on the road to the south, sir. We counted about thirty heading towards the city every hour. It seems to me this is proof the merchants are right. I await you here at the gates of Zion. He who reigns in heaven will strike down the enemies of Israel with his anger like a fiery sword. He who reigns in heaven will confound them with his fury. He who reigns in heaven says, I have chosen my king, and I have placed him on my holy mountain. I have led him to Zion. Yahweh, I await you here at the gates of Zion. He who reigns in heaven will strike down the enemies of Israel with his anger like a fiery sword. He who reigns in heaven. Territory of the tribe of Judah. From here, he can strike at the tribes of Benjamin, of Reuben and Manasseh, and all the tribes of the kingdom of Saul. If we capture the city, he will no longer threaten our people. Every attack's been driven back in the past. The king knows he's safe in one of the most impregnable cities in the world. That may be, but Joab has worked out a strategy. While King David and most of his men keep the Jebusites busy at the city gates, I shall lead 300 courageous volunteers along the Kidron River. 
When we reach the spring of Gion, the Lord will lead us into the heart of the city. Further than this, King David, you will die before you profane our gods. Listen to me, Jebusite. He who reigns in heaven has said, I have chosen my king. I have placed him on my holy mountain. I have led him to Zion. It is written, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of bondage in Egypt. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image of anything that is in the heavens, or on earth, or in the waters. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, so has Yahweh said. Throw them outside. has today delivered Jerusalem into our hands. Yahweh has won the battle for us and reunited the tribes of Israel. From now on, this city that Yahweh has given us will be known as the city of David. David will rule over all the tribes of Israel now and forever. David is the man whom Yahweh ordered Samuel to anoint king of Israel. He is our victorious ruler. God has blessed your reign and rewarded your faith in him, David. But there is one worry weighing on my heart, Nathan. I have conquered a capital for my kingdom. I have built a house for myself and my children, but I have not yet completed the temple for the Ark of the Covenant. I must keep the promise I made. Tomorrow morning I will summon my architects and commission them to build the most beautiful temple in the world for Yahweh. Do whatever it is you have in your heart, David, for Yahweh is with you and will be with you always. What do you want at this hour? I wish to speak to your mistress. <clears throat> what is your business here? Why do you wish to speak to me? I wish to speak to you alone. What I have to say is of a confidential nature. Please ask your maid to leave us. 
Who has sent you here to see me? My lord, the king sends me. The king? That's who I said, the king of all Israel. Recognize this seal? He wants to see you. Your king, Bathsheba. Why have you summoned me here, my lord? Because I saw you bathing in your yard, Bathsheba. No. I am a married woman, my lord, as you well know. sound of your music cannot soothe my despair, my lord. I will be led in chains to the place where tortures and punishments are carried out. Then what, Bathsheba? And then I shall be stoned. I can already see myself being dragged through the streets of Jerusalem. What are you saying? What horrible dream have you had, my love? It is not a horrible dream. It's a sweet dream. But it is a dream that can never be, for I am bearing your child. Don't worry, your king will never abandon you, Bathsheba. The law of Israel is more powerful than its king. What shall I say when people see my condition and question me? Soon my husband will leave for the wars again. But Uriah will sleep with you again before he leaves. You have no choice, woman. You know what must be done. I know, but what if he doesn't want to? What if he doesn't sleep with me before he leaves? He will know the truth, and his anger will know no bounds. Are you ready to write, Eutarius? Yes, my lord. To Joab, commander of the Israelite army, you have gained many victories. You will continue to fight and you will continue to win. Because the Most High is on our side, I want you to know I have great esteem for Uriah with whom you sent your... I want you to place him in the forefront of the battle to come. Then, when battle is joined, you will leave him there to fight alone without fair support. Until he is struck down and dies like a hero. He deserves that title. I shall never speak of him with you again, and you will never speak of him either. Signed, David, King of all the Israelites. gave you victory over the Jebusites. You received Jerusalem as your reward, and you brought the Ark of the Covenant here with the Law of Moses. From then on, you have always been victorious over your enemy. Your strong boxes contain uncountable wealth. You have taken all the slaves and concubines you ever wanted. You have had children, many children. There is nothing possessed by the kings you fight that can rouse your envy. What you say is true, Prophet. Why did you force the hand of God, your only superior? Why did you commit the sin that now festers in your heart? What are you talking about, Prophet? What are you saying? 
You know what I mean, David. Today the Most High is ashamed of you. Come right out with your suspicions. Say them to my face. Or is it the devil and not God who piles accusations upon your king? You are being arrogant, Nathan. Arrogant! I will not tolerate arrogance! The blood of Uriah the Hittite will fall on you and on the child you have conceived in sin. What can you possibly know about the fate of Uriah the Hittite? My king, your son is dying. Speak with the Most High and ask him to be merciful. Not for us, but for the baby. Tell him we have sinned. Tell him that we implore his forgiveness, that it is not right for the child to pay for our sins. It will do no good, Bathsheba. The Most High is angry. He no longer speaks to me, no longer listens to my voice. But there is still someone in the land of Israel that he does listen to and who could speak to him on our behalf. I shall go to him. Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. I have sinned. You will shed many tears, my son, but the Almighty will hear your plea and forgive you your sins. What about Bathsheba's son, my son? The child who was born to you is without strength and will die. That is the will of the Almighty God. sinned against the Most High, against Bathsheba, against my people. <laughs> Why are you here, Prophet? What have you come to tell me? The will of the Almighty Yahweh has been fulfilled. You mean he has taken the life of my son? Yes, his soul is at rest. Now that you have repented and the Lord's will has been done, what will you do about Bathsheba? Help me to my feet, Nathan. You haven't answered my question, David. What do you intend to do? I will install her as queen of my harem. She will bear me another son, and I will make sure she lacks for nothing for the rest of her day. I want the Philistines' capital raised to the crown. May the Most High be praised. Israel has found her king again. <laughs> this first group is destined for your harem, my lord. They were all rich and their jewelry will end up in your treasury. The second group will go to the officers. Yahweh has been generous with us. We have conquered all the peoples who worship gods of stone and untrue. It is time to go home, Joab, and await the reward that the great Yahweh has promised us. I thought our victory was our reward, sire. 
The reward I look forward to comes in flesh and blood. That sheep. 